Hi, right, welcome again to the system here. We've changed a lot of things. We've now this Sardi flexible hibiscus we've created ourselves. So this kind of look. All these icons have now the same color as this one, as that one, as the this one, as the Z one, and as our art theme, and so on and so on. The tin two theme. Everything has been hibiscus. Then in former tutorial, I had this idea. I said, oh, yeah, we can do that as well. What's that? If you don't like these folders, and you might not like these folders, that's also very personal. There are other things we can do. We can also change the Sardi Numix. Where is it? Let's surf them. The Sardi Numix Colora. So we have the Sardi Mono Numix Colora. What's inside? Inside there are these folders. If you like more the folder kind, like this kind of folder from Numix, you can change this one and use these icons, which are the application icons, with the folders from this one. You can also do other things like change um, other folders, like for instance, you can use these kind of folders with another color. Or these kind of folders with another color, um, Evo Pop folders, right? Loof color folders as well, the ghost folders, and also these kind of ghost folders. That one has folders, Papyrus folders. So there are a lot of possibilities you can try out. But in my head, I've already decided. I want to try out the Sardi Mononumix Colora, so this one. Okay, so I want another script that's going to change this one. It's going to be creative, it's going to be Inkscape, it's going to be... Mm. Let's give it a try. First off, we need to copy-paste. We can't work on this original. So, Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V. Let's make Salimon on Numix Ibiscus. That's one. You can select it now. Let's have a look. Let's select it. Let's do it together. I'm thinking already lots of stuff. Thinking ahead, but let's do it. So, Salimon on Numix Ibiscus. Salimon on Numix Ibiscus. impossible to find. Remember, if you're an XFCE, you have to help the little guy and say, look, it's changed, my friends. It's called hibiscus now. Okay, okay. Then you select again. Preferences. So these are the, the things you're looking at, the Sadi Flexible Hibiscus. And we would like to combine our apps, these apps, with different kind of folders, combination. So, let's have a look. Uh, this one. Sardi, nope, 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 nope. Where is it? Sardi, 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 Sardi. Here it is. Sardi Mono Numix Hibiscus. Close. So now we have the Sardi Mono icons. That we can fix already. He's going to look for the Sardi Mono icons. And what I want him to do is fine by me. But first, first, take a look at Sardi Flexible for your icons. Okay? So these icons should go, so should go away, should move, should change. Why do they not change? Next thing you do is say, okay, let's change here. Oh, no, sorry, not that one. Icons, let's change here, see what happens. Nothing happens. Okay. Yes. Things happened. It's blue now. But what I wanted to do, what I wanted to do, is to point to this one. So you see, I made a mistake. Back in. In next team. Sadly flexible is the blue one. 
I want a hibiscus one. So as you can see, it's quite easy to point to another folder actually and combine. And that's the power of Sarvi. That's why they should be together. And then you can reuse and use all these kind of elements together. And you have now the Sarvi flexible hibiscus. You save it. And then something should happen. The question is, when will it happen? So, let's try and activate it. There you are. Close. We've come so far that we have Sardi Mononumix Hibiscus selected, and that the apps are coming from Sardi Mono, as Sardi Flexible Hibiscus, but that the icons are still the same. The icons have not changed. Okay, so we need this thing, which is quite nice. But what if, what if just for instance one thing, a little accent, if we could col color the orange to that. If we could color the white to a viscous, that might be too much. Maybe a softer, transparent would be okay. So that's how we now have to discover what do we like. Open one of these things and I suggest you take this one, default folder cloud, open it and make sure that you open it with Inkscape. Okay, opened. So options. We have this color. Fine. I always forget I have this, this clip it here. <laughs> anyway, we have, I don't want to export, it's not for now. What we do want to do is indeed this. So we have this little button here and we can fill and stroke things. If we click on it and we press Ctrl and click on it, then we see the RGB, red, green, blue, and the transparency, which is nothing here, FF, full, opaque, not transparent. So what we can do is change this to orange. I'll suppose that will be ugly. Overkill. We can use, yeah, this is not grouped yet, not grouped together, I mean. Okay, that's all together. So what I wanted to do is just this one and see how that would look. But we need to select the proper one, like so. Let's zoom in a bit. Is that enough to be gum or folder theme? That's up to you to decide. You might want to make it lighter. Doesn't need always to be the same all over your desktop. There's no rule telling you that you should. Ctrl Z. Making this probably will be out of the question. It can't seem to select it as well. There you go. Not my kind, my kind of thing. I think it would be better just to keep it like this. Don't save it. Don't save it. Remember, you want this one. Okay. Close without saving. Then you go to change colors. Control C, Control V. We're gonna call it Sardi New Mix Colora and then um, Hibiscus. That's gonna be our new script. What does this script say? A lot of things. Just let you read later at home. But what I want is the paper. I want the new paper color to become this color. That's what it says. Just to be sure, I'm gonna get it again from here. And then Ctrl V, delete, save. So I 
leave everything as it was just changing one thing one tiny element and see how that will look and we can always change more later on done running can we run check properties permissions check close terminal and we run the change color i can set Sardin Umix Colora Hibiscus you know the shortcuts use them they're there to help you so Sardi Mono Umix Colora Hibiscus okay I've named it wrong I see in my case it's this name um, and that's true because we're not working on Sardi uh, mono would actually work on sadly flexible hibiscus so the naming is all wrong but anyway this is our script run done it's done can you believe it it's done and here you see all our elements yeah maybe it's too hard but you stay let's go to our normal look I think the color is a little bit too red and for educational purposes maybe that's a good idea to show you what if you don't like it so um, don't need this one don't need that one let's go back to our theme I've closed it nope it's not here did I change it in genie I did so this one is the one we changed it into so if we say that this is the old color then it will change to something else i want to have it a little bit brighter i was right the first time i think it needs to be brighter so this thing zoom in this thing could appreciate a little bit more softer color let's have a look let's take this no don't save it the script will save it for changes so where is my hibiscus so this one without the ffs which is transparency is going to be my new paper color let's have a look we running it it's gonna be softer let's take a look here I like it much better it's not that hard for the eyes it does, does not contrast that much with the other colors so there you go we have now um, created a new folder theme here with this little accent coming through uh, again in our icon theme here this on the side everything has been dealt with I don't think I can figure out any more tutorials to make so this is our complete theme tutorial hibiscus enjoy <laughs>